End Polio Now is a Rotary Foundation initiative aimed at the final worldwide eradication of polio. Five years ago, there were four countries where polio was still endemic, Nigeria, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and India. To eradicate the disease, National Immunization Days are held to immunize all of the country's children. In 2014, India was certified by the World Health Organization, one of Rotary's international partners, as being polio-free. Rotarians Shiva and Aruna Kushik have been impacted by the magic of National Immunization Days. Their journey has taken them on National Immunization Days in all of the last four endemic countries of polio. In December 2013, the Kushiks led a small team to Pakistan, the most dangerous of the countries for polio eradication teams. No other couple in this district has so relentlessly put their lives on the line to help conquer this deadly disease. The team to Pakistan was led by Shiva and Aruna, both past presidents of their respective clubs of LaSalle Centennial and Windsor Roseland. They were accompanied by team nurse Geraldine Carey from the LaSalle Club and Rotarian Lakshmi Subramanian from Roseland. The team partnered with members of the Pakistani Polio Plus Committee Aziz Mamman and Alina Vizram and other Pakistan Rotarians and families of Rotarians. Pakistan is the only one of the three endemic countries where the polio case numbers have gone up in 2013 compared to the count in 2012, from 58 cases to 75. Nigeria ended the year with 50 cases, while Afghanistan registered only 11 cases. The trip to four cities in Pakistan proved immeasurably useful, both in terms of confirming the intense desire of the Pakistan Rotary community to see an end to polio, as well as in learning about and understanding some of the major challenges that they face in their quest. The militants who control certain regions, including the federally administered tribal areas, have prevented immunizations since July of 2012. As a condition for resumption, they demand that drone attacks be stopped immediately. When requested to administer the vaccine themselves, with no suspicious outsiders, they refused. All the qualified doctors have left that area for fear of their lives. Individuals and families traveling between the federally administered tribal areas and the rest of Pakistan and Afghanistan are the main reasons for the transmission of the polio virus. During the planning, the team discovered that malaria was a scourge. They understood the challenges faced by people when they read the statement made by a village elder. There is an electricity supply line, but no electricity, and there is no electricity transformer in the area. We have no mosquito kits and no spray against mosquitoes is arranged so far. Our children die of polio, malaria, or the heat. The plan of attack became clear use the offer of mosquito nets to entice the families to bring their children for polio immunizations. The Rotarians of District 6400 bought into the plan and supplied funding for 1,600 mosquito nets. 18 clubs and many individuals donated to the project. One township, which the team visited, housed the predominantly poor nomadic tribes in and around Karachi. They lived in shanties and Rotarians had to wade through garbage to get to the shanty clinic that provided the various vaccines to the mothers and their children. Here, the team distributed the mosquito nets and polio vaccines, helping to protect the children from both diseases. The Kushiks and their teams have helped to bring the dream of a polio-free world ever so much closer. The team's presence in dangerous parts of the world remind the local Rotarians that they are not alone. Whether they realize it or not, the children of the world owe much to Rotarians like the Kushiks, who give both tirelessly and fearlessly of themselves today to rid the world of polio tomorrow.